in the stakes of the uh, veins in your neck uh, rising. David Parkin has a competitor. Stan Olsen <laughs> gives it a bit of a rip, doesn't he? Well, we can laugh, can't we, Robbo? Well, I think it's uh, a little bit easier from a commentary box than it is from a coach's box. Rod Keogh has the free kick. He kicks in the direction of Barry Hall. In front was Ingerson. Stood his ground well. Cowell, handball back. Stephen Phoebe to Woe Woden. Woe Woden from between right back pocket and right half back. Elves still with the phone. Close handy. Ozzy Jones kicks it into the pocket. And Hall has it. Hall in towards the centre of the ground and straightens it up for St Kilda. Peckett goes for goal. Lovely long kick. Straight kick. Goal to Justin Peckett. First goal for that player in this match. 12-8 plays 5-6. How many times have we seen St Kilda tonight just square the ball up after a, a wide kick as we see Barry Hall going back into the corridor. Loose checking here by Melbourne and Peck having the presence of mind to go for goal. Well, Peckett's goal, his first for this year. He kicked one in 1996 and one in 1994. That's his total in his career to date. So he's matched his season's best ever with this goal in round 21 of the 1997 season. Boundary throw. So just three goals in his career for Justin Peckett, and he did like it. There's Phoebe. Oh, <laughs> Rod Keogh, who uh, Matthew Phoebe with him. Rod would have played with a number of the uh, Melbourne players. Starting his career here, a little uh, toe poke by Everett was okay. Taken by uh, Shane Wakeland, who came in for low tonight, belts it to full forward. Heatley front spot. He's been pretty quiet since the devastating opening term. Phoebe's handball to Gurdjick, round the body, back to centre end. Robertson, good fly. Who's a clever? Meant every bit of that to Jimmy. Stein strolls away to Robertson. I shouldn't laugh, but it was just strange to see him give that away so slowly. McDonald kicks to Needs. Holds his ground pretty well at the back, Farmer. So he said he just couldn't have a hamstring. No.